Hello and welcome to VNI News Network, where we bring you the hot topics. My name is Titus, and let's jump right into it. We have a very special story for you guys today, coming straight out of South Georgia, where a certain Mr. Long has announced his presidential bid for the 2020 election. I'm going to hand it off to my reporter in the field to see what he has to say on the matter. Titus, off to you. Thank you, Titus. It's a beautiful day here in South Georgia where it seems Mr. Long is answering questions from his vehicle. Uh, let's see if we can get a few in. Uh, Mr. Long, Mr. Long, you are aware that you need to be 35 to run for president. Well, I identify as a 35 year old, so it's all right. What political party are you running for? Well, you see, Mr. Nielsen, I shall be running for every political party. Mr. Long, why are you running for every party? Because I believe that every political party deserves the equal right to get riggedy wrecked by common sense. What are your thoughts on gun control? Now, I believe that if you want to own an A1 Abrams tank or an F4 jet, that is your right. Every gun law is an infringement. How do you feel about the current political landscape? I feel that the current political landscape as a whole is full of corrupt politicians who are only serving themselves and not the people. It is the people that make a government a government. A government should fear its people, not the other way around. If you were to be elected, what would be your first act as president of the United States? My first act as president would be to abolish taxes. And how do you plan on accomplishing that task? Starting with the 16th Amendment, although that only does cover income tax federally. I would do this by implementing measures and a proposal to strike it off the books, to get rid of it. My, Mr. Long, that is very ambitious. Are you worried about getting kickback from Congress? I am not worried about kickback from Congress because I'm going to be attacking them too. Oh shit. In introducing term limits, as well as finding ways to prevent outside interference in Congress itself through big corporations. How do you plan to appeal to the people? Well, in order to garner the support of the people, I intend to eradicate corrupt politicians who are there only to serve themselves. I propose a term limit in Congress, as well as the Irish kings once used a method where if a politician did not hold up to their promises and did everything in their power to uphold those promises, they would basically be crucified or murdered in some brutal way that basically sent the message, you are here to serve the people, not us. Mr. Long, do you feel that religious institutions should pay taxes? Uh, I believe that all taxation is theft. Mr. Long, how do you feel about the transgender community? Well, I feel that the transgender community is a very controversial issue right now, and I honestly don't care if you choose to identify as the opposite gender or as an attack helicopter, but it should not cost the people to your left and right money in order for you to follow your dream. You should be able to have to fund that yourself. Do you feel that women should be able to get an abortion? The topic of abortion is a very touchy subject. However, I like to take the policy of not my problem, not my business. I don't understand the situation that they have, and I do not understand the positions that they are going to take. It is their burden to carry, not mine. And now we're going to hand it off to a question from our audience. A recent poll shows that you are not too popular among the religious community. Do you care to comment? I don't fear kickback from the religious community for the reason that religion and state were always supposed to be separate. 
And the fact of the matter is, is if people cannot get over the fact that I don't necessarily support their religious beliefs, then I don't want them to vote for me in the first place. They're already a small and shrinking community in the United States, so whether or not I have their vote does not matter to me. All right, Mr. Long, final question. You're driving down the road at 30 miles per hour, and a dog, a child, and an old lady walk out into the street in front of you. What do you hit? I would hit the old lady. Uh, the brakes, Mr. Long. You're, you're supposed to hit the brakes. She's stealing from the American people. Social Security is a scam, and that's all she's trying to collect is that insurance check. Well, thank you for your time, Mr. Long. I believe that is all the time that we have for today. Uh, or will you be available for questioning in the future? Of course, I am always available for more questions. Uh, you can go ahead and like and subscribe to this video, and you can ask your own questions in the comments below. Well, that was a very interesting conversation, but I believe that wraps everything up down here, so I'm going to pass it off back to you, Titus. Thank you, Titus. Wow, that was a very eye-opening conversation that we saw today. And now I want to pass it off to you, the audience. If you have a question that you want to ask Mr. Long, just film yourself asking the question and send it to our email, which we will leave in the description down below. Or you can leave a comment in the comment section down below, and your question may be featured on the next episode of VNI News Network. Let us know what you think about my run for presidency. Am I too extreme? Am I too wild? Please let us know in the comment section down below. This has been Veritas at Iodesium. Thank you and goodbye.